countries like Denmark and Norway and all that, they might be countries by definition. They might be nation states. But if you look at it in terms of population, they're actually communities. And you look at the uniformity and homogeneity. So it's a very complex country. And you need to show more respect for people and their sentiment. It's not always democracy as a formal thing. Oh, I have a right to do this. I can do this. No. But I have to be respectful of the next man. For instance, I, when we travel to Europe, I often find people who ask us, no, do you mind if the lard is left on your table? Because you find that lard is kept, for instance, in many restaurants in Germany or in Europe. But they would always ask, is it okay? So we say, it's fine. They say, no, but you're not from a Muslim country. I said, no, I'm from India. But India is also a country of Muslims. So they always are. Then there are people who would say, do you mind if we eat meat? at the same table as you, or would you want to sit? So, you you can say, of course, this is a democracy. This is a commercial restaurant. We can serve whatever we want on the table. But that is one way of just going by the book, by the letter. But the spirit of accommodation, of respect, and there is so much sentiment involved. There is a matter of public sentiment, that if you don't respect sentiment, you are going to create certain perceptions. And whether they are real or not, you cannot alter these perceptions. And that would be a problem. And I think in the exercise of its freedom, because it's been a small country, because of the emphasis on rationalism and so on, it ha it comes from a different tradition, you know. You had philosophers, you had debates, you know, Kierkegaard, Niels Bohr, all these people in Denmark and so on. So it's a different tradition, but it was also a smaller community. It was in a less fraught world. It was in a world where there were not so many ethnic streams that were kind of competing and living... See, one must understand that there is a need for coexistence. The need for coexistence has not disappeared merely because the Cold War has ended. You need to have cultural coexistence, which means accepting that the sentiments of the man next to me, no matter how rich, poor he may be, are no less important than mine.